And new at six, the Colorado Attorney General is asking a chain of colleges to refund students their tuition, books, and fees. And that's just the start. Our investigator, Rick Salinger, has reported extensively on career schools accused of deceptive trade practices. Tonight, Rick, at Denver District Court, where a trial has started. Rick? Well, Jim, in court, College America insisted it's done nothing wrong. But the attorney general says it was involved in deceptive and fraudulent practices. But with the right degree, you could get out of that dead-end job. The state claims misleading ads say students will make a better and higher salary with a degree from College America. But CEO Eric Julin insists they are true. We disagree with that. Um, the particular points in our ads that they're taking problems with are the use of national data. There are three campuses in Colorado offering a variety of career courses. Bradley Dean is a former student who testified. He says he now has a degree in graphic design, $32,000 in student loans, and no job. I wasn't really aware of predatory practices within higher education industries. The college is also accused of misleading students on courses regarding x-ray technician, EMT, and sonography. Yeah, we disagree with that. Um, two of those allegations are for a sonography program and an EMT program, which College America has never offered. But two years ago, Tiffany Hoffman showed us a brochure with an EMT course that wasn't offered at her campus. I mean, this has been five years of my life. I can never get back. Other students we have met had praise for the college. This trial is expected to last several weeks. The attorney general is also asking for millions of dollars in fines and forgiveness of student debts. Live at Denver District Court, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. See you